some of our new pitch effects except MIDI inputs to control the different parameters. We're going to have a look at how to set up MIDI control from a DAW. First of all, we'll need to have MIDI control installed on our computer. Visit allen-heath.com and then click Software and Downloads. Choose any DLive and scroll down till you see MIDI control. Choose the newest version of MIDI control for your operating system. In this example, we're going to be using Mac OS. Once MIDI control is installed, you'll need to ensure the computer is connected to the DLive via an Ethernet cable or a Wi-Fi router and has a compatible IP address. I can set a compatible IP address manually for the DLive default network settings like this. Opening up MIDI control, we'll choose DLive as our mixer and MIDI through as our protocol and connect to the DLive mix rack from the list. If your DLive does not appear in the list, check your network settings. Once connected, moving a fader on the console should cause the activity indicator to flash. This shows that we've connected successfully. DLive accepts a number of different MIDI commands, which are detailed in the MIDI protocol document available from the website on the same page we found the MIDI control download. Let's load Vocal Tuner, one of the effects units that will accept MIDI commands. We can have the Vocal Tuner snap to a specific note by sending note on, note off messages, or control other parameters using control change messages. If we look at the routing options, followed by touching MIDI setup, we can see the MIDI settings. We'll need to choose a MIDI channel. In this example, we're going to choose channel one. Because these are standard MIDI messages, DLive can be controlled from any software that outputs MIDI. However, in this example, we're going to use Reaper. For shows with artists playing to click or track, you might choose to program in specific notes for vocal tuner to tune to at a specific time. We can do this by creating a MIDI item and drawing in some notes. In your DAW of choice, program the notes you'd like the tuner to follow and make sure that you're sending to MIDI control and that the MIDI channel matches the one that you've selected for that unit on DLive. When we run the session, the vocal tuner will now follow along with the MIDI notes from your DAW. There are other parameters that we control over MIDI too. A really useful one is the ability to put the vocal tuner into bypass at the end of the song. On the routing page on vocal tuner, we can assign a CC message to bypass. Let's choose number nine. Back in your DAW, you'll need to send a CC9 message to the MIDI channel that your effects unit is on, with a number larger than 63 to trigger a bypass off. At the end of the song, you'll want to send the same CC message, but this time with a number smaller than 63 to trigger bypass on. This means as the track finishes, the vocal tuner will not try to tune whilst the performer is talking on stage. There are other parameters you can automate from a DAW here too, from the key of the tuner to the correction retune speed and the transition speed, simply by assigning a CC message on the effects unit. 